On July 7th, Federal Bureau of Investigation Director Christopher Wray claimed that the Chinese Communist Party is conducting espionage, cyber theft, and extortion in an attempt for a generational fight to surpass our country in economic and technological leadership during a speech at the Hudson Institute in Washington, D.C. Ray revealed a program Xi Jinping started in 2014 called Fox Hunt, aimed at Chinese nationals who are staying abroad. The program claims anti-corruption as its purpose, but actually targets dissidents and whistleblowers. After the CCP finds the targets' location of residence, they threaten him or her by holding his or her family members in China as hostages, thereby forcing the target to succumb to the CCP's requests. According to Ray, hundreds of fox hunt targets currently live in the United States, many of whom are U.S. citizens or green card holders. The Chinese government wants to force them to return to China, and China's tactics to accomplish that are shocking. One agent commanded a target's family to pass a message to the target in the U.S., return to China promptly or commit suicide. He appealed to anyone in the U.S. who had reason to believe they were a fox hunt target to please reach out to your local FBI field office. He also disclosed that in the 5,000 FBI spy cases currently underway, nearly half is related to China. Another program, Operation Skynet, was launched after Fox Hunt. The CCP's anti-corruption coordination group claims that as of the end of April 2018, the CCP has successfully recovered 4,141 fugitives from more than 90 countries and regions through Operation Skynet. According to a report released by the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, from 1995 to 2008, nearly 20,000 mainland officials fled abroad, taking away assets worth up to 800 billion yuan. In 2011 alone, it is believed that more than 1,500 CCP officials fled, taking with them many assets. However, it is worth noting that arresting embezzlement officials abroad is only an excuse for the CCP's fox hunt and Operation Skynet programs. In reality, their main targets are dissidents and those with high-level inside information and scandals. Since the CCP believes that those targets are their real threat, their unscrupulous arrests have attracted the attention of the United States. On April 24, 2019, the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Justice Adam S. Hickey delivered a speech criticizing the Chinese Communist Party for not respecting the rule of law revealing that the CCP sent out agents from both the Fox Hunt and Skynet operation to the United States to carry out operations. These agents entered the United States under false pretexts and intimidated their targets to return to China. That is, these agents conducted their government missions secretly in the United States and likely entered the United States using tourist and business visas. According to U.S. media reports, U.S. officials have solid evidence that Chinese communist agents have used various hardline methods to prompt the targets to return, including threats like taking action against their own families in China. In accordance with U.S. law, aside from diplomatic consular officials and commissioners, it is a criminal offense to engage in activities as a law enforcement officer of a foreign regime without prior notice. The U.S. Department of State stated that the United States through the U.S.-China Joint Liaison Group on Law Enforcement Cooperation, asked the CCP to provide clear evidence to allow the U.S. to investigate, deport, and prosecute fugitives. We must cooperate on matters of common concern, including wanting criminals and anti-corruption. However, China is responsible for providing important, clear, and convincing evidence to the U.S. to allow the U.S. to investigate, deport, and prosecute fugitives. Dr. Zhu Ming, a current affairs commentator in New York, said that many of the CCP's targets in the United States were political prisoners, dissidents, or people who knew the insider stories of high-level CCP scandals. For these people, the CCP finds it difficult to submit any convincing evidence to the U.S. government without exposing itself. This explains why the CCP refuses to cooperate even when the U.S. is willing and chooses to violate U.S. laws in order to catch its targets in America on its own.